inside the AP gym, getting you set for the boys game between Athens and Parkersburg and number three in 2A Hudson. John Moenkel, Evan Sheasley, happy you're with us tonight. Wherever you may be tuned in to tonight's broadcast, whether it be uh, from the comfort of your home here in the uh, AP area, whether you're somewhere else in the United States, overseas, we're happy you're tuned in to some Falcon hoops on the Falcon Activities Network. Well, Evan, uh, a huge game coming up here for Applins and Parkersburg. Uh, we're in kind of that uh, that uh, middle ground right now where uh, the girls' teams aren't playing for seeding anymore, but the boys' teams still are. And for Applins and Parkersburg, a team that has started to pick up some steam and has started to uh, probably gel and be playing some of their best basketball. Um, again, hopefully their best basketball is still ahead, but this is a team that has improved all year long. A chance for a win tonight over an extremely good Hudson team. Uh, the Falcons could get a number one or number two seed. Such a critical game tonight for AP. Absolutely. This game has huge postseason implications. Obviously, with the regional factor in the postseason brackets, there's a very high likelihood that AP could get into the same substate bracket with Hudson or Grundy or even both. So this could be a very big win for AP if they were able to pull one out tonight. Yeah, Applington Parkersburg got a big win uh, over uh, H uh, Union last night on the road. Uh, pulled away in the second half, 82-57 the final score. Gavin Thomas scored 30 points to lead all scorers in that one. And uh, a note for Gavin Thomas, actually last night he tied Jaden Mackey for fourth all-time all in the career scoring list with 1,159 points. So his first point tonight, he will move into sole possession of uh, fourth place in the all-time scoring list. Evan, that uh, I mean, that just goes to show uh, what kind of a career Gavin Thomas has had in leading this program. Uh, a storied, decorated career, and uh, man, that guy's proven himself among the best in AP history, hasn't he? Absolutely. I mean, he's been a contributor all four years of his high school career. Here he is. Unfortunately, he suffered that broken hands a couple games ago, but man, he has been on a tear since he came back. We talked about it a little bit before the game, averaged 19.6 points before the injury since he's been at 22 points per game after the Union game last night, so he hasn't seemed to miss a beat and even actually gotten better. Yeah, overall on the season, his points per game is right around uh, 19 and is shooting 54%. On the other side, this Hudson team, 17 and 1 on the season. They have earned that high ranking in Class 2A. Um, Evan, we were kind of talking about this a little bit ago, but um, this is the, uh, the type of team that's just been blowing teams out. Um, they have one loss to Decora, which was right before Christmas break, but uh, it just seems like no one's been able to touch these guys other than Decora. Absolutely. Quick note of that Decora game Decora is the number one team in 3A. Yes. <laughs> So, I mean, and that's, that was a close game, too. Two yeah, points. Absolutely. I mean, that's a game that they're almost expected to lose. Hudson looking for a big win to close out a very tough schedule to end the year with games coming against Duckerton and number one in 4A, Cedar Rapids Kennedy. Yeah, so with a win tonight, Hudson would clinch the outright NICL Central title. An AP win, they would uh, share the title as they have the same number of wins and losses and we'll have split with each other. A shared conference title would mean that AP has been conference champions for the last three years straight. Quite an impressive feat and says a lot about the program. The crowd's getting into it early yes. here. This is gonna be, this has the potential to get wacky tonight. Let's meet the starters for Hudson. Number zero is a 6'5 senior forward Camden Davis. Number one, a 6'1 senior guard Colin Ugrin. Number two, a six foot senior guard Tanner Michael. Number four, a six one junior guard Kean Kryl. And number five, a six foot senior guard Lyle Olson. For Applings and Parkersburg, a six one junior guard, number one, Caleb Campbell. A six one senior guard, number two, Gavin Thomas. Opening tip off is in the air. Hudson wins it. Number five, a 6'1 sophomore guard, Benny Waller. Number 12, a 5'10 senior guard, Nick Neuroth. And number 20, a 6 or a 5'10 senior guard, Kale Shoneman. And you Hudson can, with a basketball, bucket missed, and Gavin Thomas the rebound. You can feel the energy in this gym way early. A rocket atmosphere, Neuroth to the rack, scoop shot missed, rebound goes to Davis. Camden Davis, the NICL Central's leading scorer, just under 20 points per game. One of the better rebounders as well. And we got a foul right away, committed by AP. It's gonna go on 
20. That's Kale Shoneman. His first and the team's first of the game. Hudson to inbound to their offensive end. Ugren gets it in deep here to Davis. And a fresh shot clock here. Here comes a three. Tanner Michael swishes it. That's going to be huge. AP's ability to guard those shots, that is going to be a big factor in this game. Benny Waller takes it to the paint. Scoop shot. Oh, he missed it. You can't miss shots like those against a team like this. Layup at the other end is good by Cryo. Early lead. 5-0 Hudson in front. Less than a minute in. And the Pirate crowd is getting amped up. The student section's getting into it on both sides. This is the show that people came to see right here. Dangerous atmosphere for a team like Hudson here. New Roth aggressive drive. Gets up top. Benny Waller. Rumbles down, left to the lane, puts and it up. A foul. And Count it and one for Benny Waller. Evan, throughout the year, Benny Waller, kind of an X factor type of player for this AP team. Man, when he gets hot, this AP team usually is on a roll. Absolutely. I mean, he got minutes as a freshman in the playoffs last year, but he's just been on a tear since game one. Been like top two in scoring every single game. Absolutely deadly from the three-point line. Hits the free throw. He's shooting 50, just under 50% on the season. 5-3, Hudson in front. Almost a Falcon takeaway with Caleb Campbell. Davis, a little hesitation. Lyle Olsen, mid-range shot, missed it off the rim. Rebound Campbell. Here comes AP with Neuroth into the front court. A chance to tie or take the lead. Shoneman dribbles up top, hand off Thomas. And he'll back this thing out. He goes between the legs with it. Takes it into the paint. Kick to the corner. Catch, shoot three. Shown him in. Missed it. Rebound tapped around and controlled by Hudson. And, and a charge. Foul. Camden Davis extends the forearm and commits the charge. That's something that sneaks under the radar. AP is a great team at drawing charges. They do it in big moments all the time. The Monticello game last year, of course, ended a loss, but Sarges drew them throughout the entire game. Big moments. So here comes AP. Neuroth has it at the midcourt logo. Again, a chance to tie or take the lead down 5-3. Neuroth goes left, screen set up top. Underneath finds Campbell. Almost was an errant pass and a foul on Hudson. This one goes on Colin Ugren. There's some early fouls for Hudson. Yeah, already three within the first two minutes and 12 seconds of the game. Cooper Hoff checking into the game after being out of the lineup last night at Union due to an illness. Coming in off the bench here in this one. Here comes Nick Neuroth into the front court. AP trails 5-3. Here comes a three. Benny Waller puts the Falcons in front 6-5. A quick release there. It's almost Blue entirely ball, covered. All, almost went into the backcourt. Benny Waller has all six of AP's points so far. Olsen gets it up top here to Nathan Ruber. First time in the lineup tonight for Hudson. Michael terminates the dribble. Turnout shot from the elbow is good. This is that rivalry atmosphere that makes or breaks these games. We talked about it a little bit in the girls game, but... Benny Waller, deep three, missed it. These two programs have a basketball rivalry that dates back years. It's always a heated atmosphere when AP and Hudson get together. Always a close game, too. Even whenever AP's, like, ranked in the state or Hudson's ranked in the state, it's always a close game. It's going to be a foul on AP. I think Nick Neuroth. Yep. Neuroth gets called for his first of the game. And the second team foul on AP here in the first quarter. And these teams have a long history. AP actually lost a sub-state final to them in the 1995 season. Hudson went on to win third in the state that year, I believe. That's some serious research by your part. Great job. Uh, I have a lot of free time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hudson with the ball. Here's a shot. And a foul is committed by AP in the lane. Colin Eugen rose up. One well, for AP, the unfortunate part of that foul is that it was well after the shot, so 
really wouldn't even have contested the actual shot. Second foul of the game on Neuroth. Yeah, just as quick. It seems like both teams are in foul trouble now. We're getting close to some bonus shots. 8-6 is the Hudson lead. Dirt Colson is in the house. Second free throw is good. Here comes Gavin Thomas. A bucket will put him into fourth place all time on the all time scoring list. There it is. And there it is. Scoops it up and in. Gavin Thomas is now the fourth leading scorer all alone in Appleton Parkersburg boys basketball history. He's going to be a player to watch tonight. Coming off his 30 point bomb last night. And his, that's the second of the season. The first one did come against Hudson at Hudson. He's looking to maybe do a third this season. Out of bounds to the Pirates on a close play along the baseline. He may need to. Yeah. I will pull up the numbers on that. So uh, Gavin Thomas now one. one they thousand. just reversed the call. All right. Hudson ball. So some discussion and they flip the call around. But yeah, Gavin Thomas, 1,161 points in his career. That's the fourth most in AP Boys basketball history. A lot of big names on that list. Yep. One well, of them being Coach Thomas. You bet. Aaron Thomas, the all-time leader. We'll detail that here in just a little bit. Turnaround shot is missed by Michael. Rebound goes to AP. Hudson leads 9-8. Gavin Thomas, contact and a jump ball. Jump ball. Yeah. So it will stay with Hudson? No, AP ball. All right. No possession error on the scoreboard. I can't really tell. Yeah. Niemeyer to inbound. Looking, looking, looking. And they get it in deep to Waller here. Takes one dribble and stops. Three and a half to go in the first quarter. Crossover dribble here by Thomas and brings it back out. 15 on the shot clock. Jab step, Gavin Thomas, three, missed it short. Cooper Hoff the rebound, what a board for AP. Down to the corner, here's Niemeyer, holds it overhead. He's looking for Campbell there. Instead they get it up top here to Gavin Thomas. Thomas, right of the lane, missed the shot short. Rebound goes to the Pirates. 3.05 to go in the first quarter, and Hudson looking to increase their lead up 9-8 right now. Up top, Tanner Michael goes left into the lane, bounces off Niemeyer, no missed good. the shot, rebound put back in. Tate Van Dyke gets on the board for the Pirates. 11 8, Hudson out of bounds, and it's going to be Hudson Ball. How about this atmosphere this for a regular season rocking. game? This place is absolutely rocking it's right now. Reminiscent of the Grandview Christian game AP had last year. Another ranked matchup. There is really not an empty seat in the house. This is exactly what you want. Hudson with a basketball. 20 seconds left on the shot clock. Two and a half to go first quarter. They're probably going to try to draw some clock here. And we got a whistle. Three in the lane. Three. Wow. So Hudson gives it back to AP. Here with just under two and a half to go in the first. A three would be nice, but I see AP going for the two here. They're going to try to play it close, maybe try to scratch at a lead late in the second quarter, even in the second half. Here comes a Gavin Thomas three for the tie. How about that? We are tied at 11. Lyle Olsen up top. Dribbles and hands it off up top here to Keen Kral. To the bucket goes Ugrin, up and in. Under two minutes to play in the first. Hudson leads it 13 to 11. Caleb Campbell up top. Pivots around, now here's Niemeyer. And it's stolen away by the Pirates. CP with their first turnover. Ugrin to the rack and lays it in and a foul. Count it and one for Cohen Ugrin. The foul's on Schoeneman, and that is his second, I believe. Yep, that's his second foul. They can change that fast. 
All of a sudden, it's a two possession lead for the Pirates. And Ugrin, a chance at one more. And one for Ugrin is good. He switched it. 16 to 11 is the lead for Hudson. 90 seconds to go, first quarter. Cross court pass. Niemeyer. Down to Shoneman, around his defender. Up top, Tate Niemeyer, fake the shot. Now it's Shoney, bounces it down for Thomas. Pirate fans making noise. Thomas this, looking around. This Hudson Cooper crowd is serious. Oh, he missed it off the rim. Hudson definitely wants to beat AP bad. Ugrin through traffic. Knocks it down. And Ugrin's got nine. Thomas, Benny Waller, catch, shoot three. Too strong, rebound Pirates. This thing's starting to turn on its side in Hudson's favor. The Pirates with some momentum here late in the first. Three by Ugrin, bouncing on the rim and falls down through. They're getting a little bit too reliant on the three there, AP is. There's nothing wrong with the two in this situation. Tate Niemeyer, left corner three. Too strong, players at the floor, and a foul call on AP. Cooper Hoff, I think. There's, there's some discussion. Yep, white zero, that's Hoff. Just like that, AP is down 10. You know, since Gavin Thomas hit that three, it's been a 10-0 run for Hudson. A quick one at that. Yeah, Cole and Uger in a major part of it, too. And... An and one free throw coming up here for, or two free throws for Ugrin, and it's good. Yeah, that was the fifth AP team foul. So bonus time here for Hudson. And one more free throw. Pirate student section waving the fingers, hits it. Might have a lane violation here. Oh, actually foul on AP. Or no, foul no, on Hudson. Hudson, yeah. All right. Crazy. Well, that's so, actually... As of now, they're going to count the free throw. We're getting some clarification whether the free throw is good here. Looks like it is. 23 to 11. 14 points for Ugrin. They're going to draw this out, look for the last shot of the quarter. Down to 15 seconds. Thomas holding on to it. Near half court, now takes off 10 seconds. Thomas goes left, screen set by Hoff, crossover dribble. Thomas looking for someone. Take Niemeyer, catch, shoot three. No. 23 to 11. He got Hudson. a good look there. Yeah. Hudson has the lead over AP. Campbell Melema Insurance and Real Estate provides the service you expect. With over 50 years of experience, they are available to assist you with all your insurance and real estate needs. Campbell Melema Insurance and Real Estate is your local agent, helping protect what's important to you. We're back inside the AP gym. Hudson leads Applington Parkersburg 23 to 11. Here's we go to the second quarter. Pirates ranked number three in class 2A. That was a very quick turnaround. A 12-0 run by Hudson to end the first quarter. We were tied at 11 and now it's 23 to 11 Hudson. Here's a steal by Benny Waller. That's much needed by AP. Waller down to the baseline. Foul on the floor. All right. Famed weatherman Mark Woodley is in the house. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know, more people in this country probably know him uh, for that that one viral <laughs> video than as a television sports person. It's the way it happens sometimes. <laughs> yep. 
Thomas inbound from the baseline. Looking, looking. That was close to a five-second call, and they turn it over. Fast break for Hudson. Michael to the rack. Oh. It. Rebound Campbell. A little bit of mind games from Nick Neuroth. Faked him out. Here comes Neuroth. Takes to the free throw line. Now Hoff down to the baseline. Pivots around. Bounces it out to Neuroth. Takes it to the rack. Hesitation. And mauled on his way up. He was hacked in the act. And two free throws coming up for Nick Neurod. This Hudson crowd has been loud and proud all game. Yeah, they, uh, you can tell how bad they want the outright NICL Central title. Absolutely. 17 and one on the year. And as you alluded to, they're gonna face some daunting tests here at the end of the regular season as well. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that game against Cedar Rapids Kennedy goes, because, I mean, 4A as a, Class is no joke, but if you're right. going to be the top team in that class, it's, you know, you're pretty good at basketball generally. Right. Second free throw, New Roth. Good. Hits them both. AP to end the regular season. They will be at Waterloo Columbus on Monday. And then they will host Wapsie Valley on Tuesday for senior night and close the regular season the following Friday by hosting Charles City in boys only action. Missed shot by Davis. Gets on board. Turnaround put back. Bouncing. Ooh. No. Ball thought about it there. Here comes Thomas into the front court. AP down 10, one minute into the second. Nearly tapped out of bounds by Hudson. Hoff takes to the rack, couldn't get the friendly bounce. And the rebound goes to Hudson. Whoa, what, what a layup. layup. Wow. Tanner Michael. Up and under. Reverse layup, good. 25-13. Hudson in front. AP in danger of getting run out of their own gym if they're not able to turn this around quickly. Hoff looks at the bucket, dribbles and spins. Yeah, lost his dribble. Knocked away. Here comes Hudson. Scoop shot, oh, alley-oop, and it's laid in by Davis. Some showtime. Timeout, Coach Thomas. Timeout, Coach Cole. Thomas. And that brings the Hudson crowd to their feet. We will step up. I'm John Moenkel. Your radio home for Falcon Athletics all year long is 99 The Wave. Sail away with 99 The Wave. 98.9 FM. KQCR. Parkersburg. Iowa Falls and Hampton. We're back inside the AP gym. Number three in 2A, Hudson 27, Appleton Parkersburg 13. John Moenkel, Evan Sheasley, so glad you're able to join us tonight. And a rockin' Saturday primetime atmosphere inside the AP gym. Still time to get out here if you're not. So here comes AP. Here comes Shoneman along the baseline. Shovels it out now to Benny Waller, hounding defense by Cryle. Couldn't find an Here's open man. Here's a tip and a steal. Camden Davis, one on one, dunks it, and a foul. Man. That's going on the highlight reel. I can guarantee that's going to be on KWWL tonight. Almost did an up and under with yeah. that dunk. That was. Quite impressive. Yeah, let's watch the replay here. And one free throw coming up for Camden Davis. Man, missed it. Dunk missed the and one free throw. So here comes AP. They need to operate quickly down 29-13. You can tell how bad the Hudson crowd wants this victory over AP. Yeah, every turnaround shot missed by Thomas. Every break, they're starting to chant. I mean, the whole crowd's getting into it. They got a lot of pride in this team. Ugrin up and missed it. Rebound Waller, tapped over to Shoney. AP has some numbers right now. One of the Pirates slow to get back. 
And Cooper Hoff able to connect on the layup. That was just the second bucket of the second quarter for AP. Shot at the other end. There's Davis to tip it back in. It's 31-15. Hudson has AP more than doubled up right now. Thomas going between the legs. Good find. Now underneath, it's Tate Niemeyer up and in. Stops the bleeding a little bit. 31-17, AP down. Olsen looks back here to Coach Leonard. Hudson looking like a well-oiled machine right now. Here comes the corner three. Too strong, rebound Waller. Things are slowing down. Into the front court comes AP. Stripped. Waller lost it, yep. Hudson won a 78-64 when the teams met down at uh, the home of the Pirates back in December. AP had won the prior six meetings in the series. Inbounds, Shoney missed it from the center of the lane. And AP could have used that bucket. 31-17, they trail. Michael gets back outside to Olsen. 4.25 to go, second quarter. Olsen in the paint, stops, and they'll get it back outside the perimeter here. Hudson using some clock now, turnaround shot, good. And we got a foul called on AP as well. It was not a shooting foul, but they're gonna count the bucket. A push on Waller. Bucket was by Keen Cryo. Let's see if I can see the replay on this. See exactly what. Oh, it was on the rebound. Oh, a very. That a was. Costly foul. Yeah. Ticky tack, maybe, but it is what it is at this point. 33 17 Hudson. And they're down there, we're not. They're trained and we're not, too. That's so. right, that's right. Olsen faked the pass, then heaves up a three, missed it. And the rebound goes to Hoff. Man, the Hudson crowd would have blown the roof off this place had that shot gone down. 3.45 to go until halftime. Thomas backs it out to the wing left side, terminates the dribble. Pounding defense by Hudson. Around the perimeter, and a no-look pass down underneath. Here's Cooper Hoff, 15 on the shot clock. Niemeyer down to Shoneman. Back up top Hoff. Crossover, not on the shot clock. Underneath, cutting to the bucket, Shoney. And a travel on AP. Costly mistakes. Things like that will certainly add up. Seems they already are. Yep. And Hudson smells blood in the water right now. Yeah, it looks like Shoneman kind of slid the feet back looking at the replay. Here come the Pirates into the front court, leading 33-17. Michael cool. gets it right. Looks like AP's trying to terminate getting that inside pass, running a 2-3 zone, which is interesting because Hudson's a good three-pointing shoot, a good three-pointing shooting team. That was a hard one. <laughs> Ugren gets a left. Three on the shot clock, stolen away by Campbell. Falcons in transition. Here's Waller, and they'll slow down the tempo here a little bit. Waller takes to the paint, scoop shot. No, he couldn't get the lucky bounce. How does that not go in? These ribs have been unforgiving tonight for both teams. Yeah, three ball missed to the other side by Ugren. And here comes AP. A spin by Thomas, and a whistle before the shot. 1-0, that's a foul on Nathan Ruber of the Pirates. And it'll be free throws for Gavin Thomas. So a couple substitutions for Hudson here at the next dead ball. Thomas at the line. Shooting two. First one. Missed it strong. Off the back. Davis comes back in. Oliver Thompson makes his first appearance. 33-17. Hudson still in the lead. Second free throw, Thomas, good. Gavin Thomas now up to six points for AP. 
33-18 Pirates. 2.17 to go until halftime. They're going to try to drag this out as much as they can, I think. Got a pretty comfortable lead at the moment. Loose ball picked up by Thomas. The Falcons get a takeaway. Here comes Waller into the front court. Into the lane, scoops it up. Good. Rattles it down through. The backboard is still rocking back and forth through the contact. Waller's got eight for AP. Back to a 13-point game. Hudson with the ball right now. Olsen has it up top near the midcourt logo. Minute 45 to go until halftime. Screen set up top by Davis. Straight on three, it's Olsen. Yeah. Grabs it down through. Lyle Olsen gets his first bucket of the game, and it's a big one. Back to a 16-point Hudson lead. Thomas has it. Screen set by Hoff up top. Heaves it across the floor. Here's Shoneman. Benny Waller, catch, shoot three. Missed it to the right. Rebound pulled down by Tanner Michael. Pirates racing it down the floor. Three from the corner. Good. That's what happened last time. It's a Oliver bad situation Thompson. to be in. Pirates by 19, but Shoney able to stop the bleeding a little bit. Kale Shoneman, his first bucket of the game. 39-22. A little bit of a flurry there by the Pirates here late in the first half. Here's another three. Oh, it's good again by Thompson. That's three in a row. A 20-point game. Here's a tip and a steal by Davis. Pirates in transition, bounce it down and a foul as Ugrin was going up. They're gonna wave the shot off. Foul was before the shot. And that'll be the fourth team foul on AP, it looks like. All right, so Hudson will inbound down to their offensive end with Olsen. Looking, looking, looking. Gets it in deep, Thompson. A couple of threes for him here as of late. About a five second difference between the game and shot clock. You'd think they'd just try to take out as much as they can. Right. Force a bad shot for AP. Coach said Lyle take it down. I'm just gonna so, hold it for most of this. Yeah. Honestly, you may even take the shot clock violation, just give them that much less time. Or try to get the quick score and just expand the lead that much. Right. Or just shoot it at the last second, too. Yeah. All right, here comes Olsen. Gets it outside, four in the shot clock. Olsen up top, deep three, Shoney in his face. No, it hit the, it didn't hit the rim, so that stops the clock with 3.2 seconds. This will be interesting. All right, definitely time to get something up. We'll have to be quick, though. Hoft inbound gets to Waller. Cross half court with a second and a half. Here comes the buzzer beater. He got it. it. Wow. What a shot. Benny Waller beats the buzzer. What a shot. AP still down big at halftime, though. 42-25 Pirates as we head to the halftime break. <laughs> Campbell Melma Insurance and Real Estate provides the service you expect. With over 50 years of experience, they are available to assist you with all your insurance and real estate needs. Campbell Melma Insurance and Real Estate is your local agent, helping protect what's important to you. Hey, AP Falcon fans. Did you know there is a place on our website that you can find everything you need to know about our broadcasts and even links to other schools' broadcasts? Go to our website www.a-pcsd.net and click on live streaming in the upper right hand corner or on the picture of the computer on the right. This will bring you to our live stream central page where you can find our updated broadcast schedule, links to the programs for current events going on, a game day link for our broadcasts, and links to other schools broadcasts where we might play. If you feel so inclined, you can even donate towards our broadcasts as we continue to upgrade our equipment to make these live events for you viewing pleasure. Thank you all for your continued support. And as always, go Falcons. I'm John Moenkel. Your radio home for Falcon Athletics all year long is 99 The Wave. Sail away with 99 The Wave. 98.9 FM. KQCR. 
Parkersburg, Iowa Falls, and Hampton.
a minute 20 until we get rolling in the third quarter. John Moenkel, Evan Sheasley, happier with us tonight. 42-25, number three and two, a Hudson leads Applington Parkersburg. Evan Hudson just shooting the lights out of this place right now. And uh, Applington Parkersburg in desperate need for some answers. Yeah, this is a deep hole that AP's gonna try to have to dig themselves out of. 17 points, that's no easy feat even against teams that aren't top five in 2A. This is gonna be an interesting second half to see what could be done. Yeah, AP trailed by as many as 20 in the first half. Uh, Tanner, or er, well, let's see, Oliver Thompson came in off the bench late in the second quarter, knocked down two big threes. There was at one point they had three in a row, two from Thompson and I believe uh, another one from uh, possibly Cole and Ugrin. So Ugrin having himself a phenomenal game as well. He's up to uh, 14 points uh, unofficially for the Pirates. And uh, Hudson has not been turning it over much either. Four turnovers for the Pirates, five for AP. Benny Waller's got uh, 11 points to lead the Falcons. So some timely buckets from him, but not nearly enough. AP is going to start the half with, with the ball. So we'll right. see what can happen. This game's far from over. 42-25 Pirates. You're right, it's far from over, but if you allow Hudson to pick up any much more momentum, it's got a chance to uh, get over quickly. All right, Falcons to get the ball. Here to we, as we start the third quarter. Both student sections on their feet. The entire Pirate crowd on their feet as well. Off up top, gets it away to Thomas. Goes right, spins in the right side of the lane. Fires it out, Neuroth. Man-to-man -man defense here for Hudson, but the left shown him an open. Neuroth missed the bucket in the lane. Ran into a double team, and Hudson gets the ball back. This would be a great time to get some points on the board for AP. I mean, both teams are going to start out a little slow after halftime, more than likely. If you can get points, try to chip away at that deficit, that's huge. Camden Davis, though, hits a layup to get things rolling in the third quarter. 44-25 Pirates. Up top, here's Neuroth. He goes right with it. Hand off Benny Waller up top. Turns around. Here's Hoff. To the corner with Neuroth. Along the baseline. Fires it left. Catch 2-3 Shoney. No. Too strong. Would have been a big three for the Falcons to get rolling here in the third. Here's a three Olsen. He was wide open, but missed it. Rebound Hoff. Into the front court, Shoneman. To the corner. Benny Waller catch shoot three. He knocks it down. 14 points steal for Waller. By by Here's Neuroth. a steal by Neuroth. Takes it to the rack, lays it in. Transition buckets, that's five, important. Five quick points for the Falcons, down 44 to 30. Still a decent deficit, but it's better than it was before. It was as many as 20. This 2-3 defense, this is very Ugrin interesting. Three. That, yes. For that exact reason. Ugrin up to 17. And AP, some miscommunication, they throw it away. I would have expected maybe a man defense try to shut down that three ball, but it's been wide open more often than not. Yeah, and the thing with Hudson too is like, you really can't leave anyone open with this team. Well, Some there, teams you can get away with that, but not these guys. They're a momentum-based team too. As soon as one guy starts making shots, the others start. It turns into a snowball effect. Here's a tip by Neuroth and a steal by Thomas. Thomas, left wing three, no. Rebound Shoneman. I wonder if we're going to look at maybe a defensive switch, try to catch him off guard. Benny Waller missed a three. And here comes Hudson into the front court. Offensive foul is called. Okay. Cohen Ugrin gets called for the foul. So that'll give it back to AP. 5.38 to go third quarter, 47 to 30. Falcons trail. Here comes Neuroth to the free throw line. Hoff a jumper, no. Couldn't quite get the friendly roll there. Olsen down the other way, bounced it down to the baseline, Ugrin. Across the floor, 
shut down that lane quick. In the paint, turnaround shot. Flick of the wrist by Davis. And he gets it to roll down through. They're trying to draw the charges. Yeah. Didn't work out in their favor that time. A little bit of contact on the push off. Here comes Neuroth, round traffic. Down to the corner, Thomas catch shoot three, short. Rebound to Tanner Michael. Down the other way, Olsen turns around, straight on three, good. Michael. You said it, Evan, that momentum factor of it, they really thrive on it. And it's gonna be a blocking Block. call on Hudson. Man, this uh, official walking over the scorer's table, he was getting ready to load up. I wasn't sure what he was going to call. Yeah. Getting some hype. Maybe the, he's feeding it in the crowd a little bit. Yeah. So the bucket does count. <laughs> Man, officials just love calling charges, though. The, oh, the motion yeah. of it, you know? Especially <laughs> that, uh, was it the Sumner Fredericksburg game? That would have been the first game of the season for AP. Free throw missed by uh, Neuroth. That was charge after charge after charge. Yeah. And I, I, I say that, I'm not talking about the tendency of their calls. I'm just saying it in the, in the sense that they oh, yeah. the motion. Yeah. yeah, they do. <laughs> they get into it. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like how baseball umpires love calling strikes or ringing people oh, up. One. Here's Gavin Thomas, another and one. That's a good strategy. If you can try to draw an and one every possession, it's a lot easier of a three-point play than an right. actual three-pointer sometimes. 54-34. Free throw pending. There it is. Puts Thomas up to nine points. Here comes a pass underneath, and a layup is good by Nathan Ruber from the left side. Here comes AP quickly into the front court. Crossover Nura. Now here's Waller, a three. Missed from the right wing. Scramble for the ball, and... And it's going to be on Ruber, it looks like, of the Pirates. So we're getting close to free throws here. AP has yet to foul this quarter. Hudson almost to the bonus. Thomas inbound into the corner. New Roth fires up a right wing three. Oh, it rimmed out. Halfway down and out of the Pirates get the board. 56-35. Millimeters off. Yeah. 3.40 to go here in the third. Into the lane, step back, good. By Colin Ugrin. Puts him up to 19 points. Hoff goes right with it, hand off here to Campbell. Waller through traffic, fighting through it, missed the shot though. There's two foul, it's five on three right now. Here comes Hudson with Olsen. That's Shovel a bad situation. Out. Three ball missed by Ugrin, gets his own board, turns around and commits the offensive foul. It's always that moment right after the whistle. They wind it up and then. Yeah, they see that's what I'm talking yeah. about. Like, <laughs> a small moment of anticipation for the whole crowd. Right. All right. So AP to inbound. Saving some clock time, rolling the ball. Yeah. Hudson, five team fouls here in the quarter, AP with zero. Very interesting. Thomas throws it away. He was looking for Caleb Campbell. Either the pass just wasn't on target or miscommunication. One way or the other, AP turns it over. It was a good thought. You don't want to get caught checking up desperation threes. Right. Even as the game winds down, you still need to run some plays, try to get an offense going. Kean Kryle has it up top, crosses over on Campbell, terminates the dribble. Now to Ruber. Up top, here's Lyle Olson. Stops in the lane, backdoor cut, missed the layup. Someone swatted the backboard, but the Pirates got a takeaway. Scoop shot, bouncing, no. Rebound goes to Waller. 
Pirate fans wanted a foul. Nothing called. Down to the corner. Here comes Nura through traffic. Wild shot up. No. Here comes Olsen. 2.15 to go in the third. Hudson 58, AP 35. Hudson crowd getting into it. In the lane, Michael, and a travel is called in the Pirates. That's a momentum killer, and we're actually in free throw range for AP for the next foul. Yes, sir. Yeah, Hudson five team fouls, AP none. That could help a lot. So they'll roll it in here, picked up by Thomas. He goes into the front court, crosses over up top. Thumbles down left of the lane, kicks to the corner, catch to three, Campbell, short. Rebound goes to the Pirates here with Michael. A minute 50 left in the third. Crossover here by Olsen. Almost lost by Kryl, gets it back. Controls it near his ear. Van Dyke back to the game for the Pirates. 15 on the shot clock, step back jumper, good from the lane. By Kryl. Hudson does a very good job at getting those points right there. Gavin Thomas knocks down a three. Timeout. Timeout. AP. AP, yes. It's a full timeout, so we will step aside as well. A buck 23 to go in the third. <laughs> Campbell Melema Insurance and Real Estate provides the service you expect. With over 50 years of experience, they are available to assist you with all your insurance and real estate needs. Campbell Melema Insurance and Real Estate is your local agent, helping protect what's important to you. A Hudson 60, Athens Parkersburg 38. John Mullenkel, Evan Sheasley. And a 22 point deficit for the Falcons late in the third quarter. Hudson has stepped on the gas pedal and has not taken it off since the first quarter. It's yeah. Yeah, it was 23 to 11 Pirates at the end of the first. They led 42 25 at halftime. Now lead by 22. Spin in the lane by Olsen. Couldn't get the bounce. Offensive board put back in by Ruder. Hudson's got it on cruise control right now. 62-38. Crossover, Thomas down to the left side. Neymar three, too strong. Rebound Pirates. And here comes Olsen. Five on floor right now. Campbell's back. Yeah. We're still in the third. I thought we were in the fourth for a second. Oh, no. We got some time. <laughs> Timeout called by Hudson here. It's a 30, so we'll keep it here. 40.6 seconds left in the third. Number three and 2A, Hudson at 62. Appleton Parkersburg, 38. Earlier tonight, the Falcon girls got a victory over the Pirates. Able to get the season sweep. Hudson boys looking to get the season sweep here as well. 55-43 final score. Look back to my nose for that. Looking for the conference championship title. Yes. Hudson 7-0 in the NICL Central. AP. 6-1. Oh, 5-1 actually. Oh, 5-1. We got one more oh, yeah. game remaining after tonight. We'll be at Waterloo Columbus on Monday night. That game will air on uh, 99 The Wave, by the way. Picked up by Niemeyer. They need a quick bucket here. So quick Hudson turnover. Here comes AP. 20 seconds left in the third. Free throw line jumper. Gavin Thomas knocks it down. Back to a 22 point game. Gavin's quickly snuck his way up to tie for leading the scorer for the Falcons. 14 points. Olsen 
Underneath, layup good by Kyle. AP Crowd might have wanted a double dribble there, and the heave is no good as we go to the fourth quarter. Applins and Parkersbury. <laughs> I'm John Moenkel. Your radio home for Falcon Athletics all year long is 99 The Wave. Sail away with 99 The Wave. 98.9 FM. KQCR. Parkersburg. Iowa Falls and Hampton. It's time for the fourth quarter inside the AP gym. John Molenko, Evan Sheasley with you here. It's number three in 2A Hudson, a 64. Applington Parkersburg, 40. Here's we go to the fourth quarter. It's been all Pirates here in this one. That all comes down to this, John. Hudson looking to secure the outright NICL Central title. And a travel on the Pirates, a little bit of a foot shuffle in the corner by Cryo. And that's their eighth turnover. So here comes AP into the front court with Gavin Thomas. Tell you what, though, Evan, you couldn't have asked for a better atmosphere here for a Saturday night primetime game inside the AP gym. New Absolutely. It's almost like a playoff atmosphere. It really is, yeah. Maybe an omen for what's to come. Scoop shot Olsen, ooh, hard foul there on Waller. Yeah. We'll shoot two. Yeah, no man, that's gonna be best time of the year here coming up, just a couple weeks. We'll, uh, we'll find out boys postseason brackets here early next week, I imagine. It'll be interesting to see how that works out. Yeah, last year AP ended up hosting West Branch in the regional, or the district semifinals team that AP had never faced before in basketball. It was a pretty strange bracket. A lot it of was, yeah. AP got paired with a lot of a lot southeastern of east, teams. Yeah, East Central Iowa type of teams. Like whole cuz West Branch beat Durant to advance to this game to that particular game. Yeah. And and then Jessup was in there as well. They had to beat I believe like uh Al Burnett, I, I want to say, is who they beat. Jessup, they played Cascade. Oh, Cascade, that's right, yes. Yeah. Um, Al Burnett was in that region, Monticello, Northeast Goose Lake. Yeah, that entire <laughs> Substate 10 bracket was pretty much conference play for all those teams. They all played each other. Step through for Gavin Thomas, puts it up and in. He's got 16. 64-44. The Falcons have sliced it down to 20. Hudson in the front court. Here's an offensive foul. Fugerna lowered his shoulders into Nick Nurov and pushed him back to the floor. That's such an impressive thing to be able to do. Nick Nurov does that consistently. It's He's been doing that for years. It's pretty, you have to wonder if it's his stature. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's called taking one for the team or taking several for the team. Here's Waller. Goes to the wing left side. Takes to the free throw line in the lane. Oh, hits good. the floor as wow. he hits the bucket. All right, here comes Hudson. Pirate fans still making some noise. 64-46, back to an 18-point game. AP really stepping up defense. We've got a different defensive scheme here. Here's a turnaround shot, Cam to Davis. Missed off the backboard. Looks like, it, looks like we AP switched to a 2 1 2 zone. Man leaning up top. Into the lane. Thomas lost it. 
He kind of slipped down and man defense. You don't see that happen too often. Here comes Lyle Olson, bounced it into the lane, and the finger roll is good by Davis. Timeout Hudson. 530. A full. 534 to go here in the fourth. Hudson 66. Applington Parkersburg 46 will step aside for a brief moment as well. We're back inside the AP gym. Hudson 66, AP 46. 534 to go here in the fourth quarter. Hudson looking to close this one out. Yeah. Each team three timeouts left. Hudson has kind of it's kind of been in that 20 point uh, margin here for basically the entire second half here. Yeah, this game ran away from AP pretty quick. Yeah. Hudson did their damage early. Long pass out to the corner with Waller. Sends it up top, Niemeyer. Pivots around, gets to the right side. New Rock, catch, shoot, three. A little too strong, a rebound Hudson. Here with Davis. 5.15 to go. It'll be a tough lo home loss here for AP if they're not able to come back here in this one. Finger rolls good by Michael. Interesting decision by AP to switch to man defense really this late. It clearly worked out for him. These last couple minutes. Yeah. Underneath Cooper Hoff. Here comes a rumble down the lane. Gavin Thomas scoops it up and in. Tell you what though, this Hudson team, if if the, if this team isn't in the 2A state tournament, I mean that's gonna be a major shock. They these guys are a well-oiled machine. Absolutely. They got serious talent, they got size. They're kind of the complete package. Yep. Camden Davis to the rack, yes. 14 points for Davis, 70 to 48. AP trails. We are entering the craziest time of the year though. Yep, step back three, Thomas, yes. How about a late game performance from Gavin? 21 points for him. Some great games since his return from injury. Right on that 22 average we talked about earlier. Olsen layup, counted and won. Yeah, this postseason will be one to, one to watch closely. We've got teams like West Lyon, lost in the Substate Final last year after being ranked all year. <laughs> In a similar situation, yeah. Monticello ranked top five, beat Apple to Parkersburg in the sub-state final last year. Yeah, it's going to be an awesome couple of weeks here. Absolutely. Best time of the year. Free throw missed. Rebound tapped around. It goes to Neuroth and Ooh. immediate foul. Nick Neuroth might need an ice back tonight. He's been... Tossed around a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> He's hit the ground a couple too many times for, by his own choice, really, <laughs> drawing all those charges. Right, right. He dribbles it into the front court here. AP down 72, 51, 344 left. And Hudson gets a tie. Whoa, hold on a sec. Leonard was calling for timeout. They didn't get it. There was a jump ball, so he couldn't get the timeout because there was no. Um, yeah, possession. Yeah, he, so. that was a close one. That was a good call by the officials, that messy situation, but yeah, there was no established possession by either team. Oh. Hudson's still pushing hard oh, yeah. with a 21-point lead late in the fourth. Yeah, there's some heavy breathing going out by <laughs> basically everyone on the court. 
all that energy used up throughout the course of this one. Deep inbounds goes to Waller. Has it up top and bounces it now behind for Gavin Thomas. AP will be at Waterloo Columbus on Monday. So, quick turnaround. They'll enjoy their Sunday off and then right back at it for a back-to-back -back at Columbus and then home against Wapsie Valley. Five on the shot clock. Here's Thomas. Fires up a three last second. Hits the rim, no good, and Hudson chases down the board. Olsen still pushing the pace here, and they'll circle back out here with 3.07 to play. Yeah, we're going to start draining clock here. Yeah. 72-51. And we got a whistle here and a foul call. Hudson will be back in action on Tuesday at Dunkerton, the 1A state tournament team last year. So Tanner Michael will shoot a pair of free throws here for the Pirates. First one up and good. Nick Neuroth in foul trouble. Yeah, he's got four. Still in the game, though. Absolutely. And no subs pending. Yeah. I haven't had many substitutions for AP tonight. It's been the same, about six guys, maybe seven. Second free throw, also good. 74-51, Pirates. 2.55 to play. AP's going to look for some quick buckets here. Try to chip away at this lead. Maybe see if they can pull something out. So a foul goes on Nathan Ruber of the Pirates, his fourth foul. And he's replaced by Kean Cryle in the Pirate lineup. Thomas Dinbound. Looking, looking, gets it into Waller. Neuroth down, left to the lane, puts it up, yes. Neuroth into double figures with 10. Benny Waller 16, Gavin Thomas 21. And Hudson is running some clock here. Yeah, pretty balanced scoring across the board. Hudson even more so. All five of their starters have scored and scored at least five. That alone is pretty impressive there. 10 on the shot clock. Here comes a three. Airballed and out of bounds. So that'll stop the clock with 2.14 to go. And you know, Evan, the thing about this loss for AP tonight, uh, the, the worst possible outcome from this is that it hinders their confidence moving forward. Absolutely. I mean, it's one of those where you just kind of got to flush it and move on with the postseason right around the corner. Honestly, it... I could almost argue that it might be better to enter the playoffs as a, like, say, like, a, a, like, say you enter the sub-state final as a 17 and 6 team, as opposed to like a 21 and 2 team. Yeah. You know you, you know what it's like to lose. There's a little bit less pressure there. Uh, I've been told before that the 2018 state tournament team for Appleton Parkersburg they had a loss to Dunkerton mid-season. Coach Thomas said that was probably the best thing that happened to him just to get them focused. So losing isn't always the worst outcome. Three ball missed by Kryle. Get an offense rebound though with about 25 to play. And Nick Newhouse is fouled out of the game. All right. So his night finishes with 10 points. 74-55. Here with a minute 18 left. We have. Pulse Lewis subs coming in. We're playing the foul game. Oh, yeah. AP, I should say. Grant Wedeking, Trevin Thomas. Evan Palmer. Jackson Mulder. Yep, Palmer. Sully Jansen. All right, yep. And Pirates. Hudson Pirates getting into it. Well, yep. Next to us. Caden Weersma is in the game. So is Camden Bell, Oliver Thompson. Bell up top here to Thompson. A couple big threes back in the second quarter to really stretch the lead for the Pirates. Whoa, this is a deep three. <laughs> Missed and bounces out of bounds. Drew Barber 
Texas who heaved that one up. 59 seconds left. And let's see the Falcon Reserves get some action here. Want a close varsity reserve game down to Marshalltown on Thursday night. And they throw it away. Oh. Communication. Yep, it is going to be a turnover. 50 seconds left. And here come the Pirates. Hudson looking at the NICL Central Conference Championship. Yes, sir. Taken away by Trevin Thomas. Bounce it forward. Scoop shot up and in by Evan Palmer. And the foul. Yes, sir. AP going to move to 13 and 5. 5 and 2 in the NICL Central. Hudson will be 18 and 1 and 8 and 0 in the NICL Central. We've got four more players coming in. Looks like Gabe Mostek, Jace Prusiner, Lennox Trewin, and Preston Jansen. I bet Lennox is going to get a shot. I bet He'll make one. Hell yeah. All right. Free throw good. All right. 36 seconds left. Of course, Hudson can run out the rest of the clock if they choose as well. I bet they got some guys who they want to get, get a shot attempt to, though. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Notably, all for Thompson's in the game. Yeah. He's, he seems to be controlling things. Loose Steal ball. by Jace Prusner. Here comes Prusner. <laughs> takes Lay it to up. the rack. Oh, he <laughs> missed it. Rebound Hudson. Ten seconds left. Oh, man. And they're just going to dribble this one out. Yep. Almost a highlight reel for Mr. Prusner. Three seconds left. And that's it. 74-58. Hudson gets the victory. All right. We'll wrap it up our coverage here. Gavin Thomas finishes with... 21 points, Benny Waller 16, Nick Neuroth 10 to lead the Falcons, Colin Eugen 5'10, 15, 19 to lead the Pirates, Camden Davis had 14, Tanner Michael had 12, so three in double figures for both teams. Well, Evan, any final thoughts from you before we uh, send this thing home tonight? I think it's been a great night. Yep. Had a lot of great, two very good games against a couple great teams. All right, Falcons come up short in this one. 13 and five overall, five and two in the NICL Central. They will be at Waterloo Columbus on Monday night. That game will air on 99, the Wave. Hudson, 18 and one, eight and oh in the NICL Central. They will be at Dunkerton on Tuesday night. All right, that'll do it for our coverage tonight here on the Falcon Activities Network. Shout out to Kelly Alderts for running things at Mission Control. For Evan Sheasley, I'm John Moenkel saying good night. This has been Falcon Basketball on the Falcon Activities Network.